Hi, it's Mr. Moser. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about creating a website using your iPad and Google Sites. This little tutorial is going to cover creating the initial website itself, how to edit a page after you've created the site, adding additional pages, and being able to move pages around so you can categorize them within uh, your site, and then finally sharing your site. The first thing we're going to do is type in sites.google.com and then sign in with your email and password. You can notice on mine I have a few sites already created. To begin a new site, we'll click Create button. When you do that, it will ask you to select a template to use. Now, we're going to choose the blank template because using the other templates gets a little bit tedious to delete some of the work that's already been done. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit and click in the box name your site. Here you must be a little bit clever and think through what you want your site to represent. My case is going to be uh, creating a website with an iPad. You notice that the site location tells you what your site URL will be sites.google.com slash site slash creating a website with an iPad is going to be my site. Now I can choose a theme. The theme is going to be the color theme and the font theme for your website. There's uh, plenty to choose from so find one that you like. I like uh, this Tron last thing you need to do is down at the bottom type the code of the characters that show up. I close my keyboard and click the red create button back at the top. If you've chosen a correct name and you've entered the correct code then Google will create your site. Notice that uh, my site is now created. It's blank. They've created a blank home page for me now it's ready for me to edit this site. Congratulations, you've created a website. Now it's time to edit the web page. To do this, we will first open your site. You can find your sites again by going to sites.google.com and then signing in. At the top, you'll notice that there are some buttons. There's a pencil button, there's a plus page button, a more button, and a share button. To edit the web page, in this case, the home page, I'm going to click the pencil button. That is the edit button. First we're going to choose the layout that we want for our web page. By default you'll see one large editable zone located here. But you can click on the layout menu and choose from the variety of options. Perhaps you want it to be two column where you have a zone in the middle and another zone in the middle and you have a top zone and you also have a bottom zone. So these are a great way to to organize photos and other media that you're going to put into your site. So you choose your your layout. Once you've chosen your layout, now you can just click in one of the zones and you can start entering the the text. A fast way to enter text might be to actually switch to another document, say a document within your Google document. And you can see I already have one here. And then selecting uh, some of your work that you've, already, that you've already created. So I might select this first little bit here and copying that over and taking it into uh, your Google site. And now I can just cut and paste and put that into my, my Google site. Now you'll notice you, you have the ability to um, select within the text box just like you did in, in Drive. And it, since it didn't take over um, the formatting that I had in Drive, I might want to go and, and put that back in. And so I'm going to do that. I think I had numbering going on, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that numbering formatting back into my site. 
And that way I still maintain the same consistency. You can also select, just like you did in Drive, you can select um, and bold the items. You can, what else can we do? Italicize and underline and, and change the color if, if all those things uh, are, are things that you desire to do. So I've added my text, I've typed in text, I've also shown you how to format some text, and I showed you how to copy and paste text from um, a, a Google document. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is just inserting an image. So uh, let's say I chose to insert my image in this other box, the box on the right side. So I'm going to select the box where I want to insert it, and at the top I'm going to click Insert. I'll drop my keyboard so I can choose image. So I insert image. And when I do that, I wait for a moment for it to pull up the add an image dialog. And I'm going to upload an image from my camera roll. And the image I'm going to upload was shown earlier. I click on the image. I hit done. It then will upload the image for me. I choose the image that I like and I click OK. What you can see is it added the image into my box, but notice how humongous it is. It's too big. So the first thing I, w I need to do is shrink the image. So on the image, if you click the image, you should, you should see this little dialog box that says link and image. And I'm going to click this S button, meaning small. I'm going to shrink that image so that it's small. If small is too small, you can always choose medium or large. It depends on what size you're looking for. Now I can see that this image is not placed in the right location. And so I'm actually going to have to cut it and paste it back in the location where I, I originally wanted it to go on the right side there. When I'm done, I click the Save button. And you can see I created a website, I have some text, I added some bullets, and I inserted an image. The next thing we need to look at is adding another page, because you don't just want one page, you want your users to be able to click through multiple pages. To add another page, you click on the plus page button at the top here. New page will be created. It will ask you to insert the name for the page. So in this case, I'm going to say editing pages. It will ask you to select the template, the template that I always default, I always use the web page template, and then it asks for the location. The location can be changed later when we talk about moving, but the location is basically where is that page going to be stored? Is it going to be stored in the home page? Is it going to be stored in another category uh, of pages. And so I'm going to choose to put this um, page underneath the home page. I click create. Um, and you can see I'll go through the process of creating it. Now since I put this page under the home page, I want you to notice on the left hand side it says home and then there's a second page called editing pages underneath the home page and indented. So now I have my uh, web page that lets me, uh, that's going to talk about editing pages. And so I'd go back over to my Google Drive where I've already written out all my content. And I'm going to select my content that I'd like to bring over. I'm going to copy it. And back in my, on my website, I'm going to paste that into the website. And if I wanted to take the time, I'd go ahead and format it like we did before. Once I've completed this, I'm going to hit Save. And now my editing pages web page is set up. So if I click on Home, the Home page, you can see, has the image. And the next page, Editing Pages, has uh, some different content. So you can create as many pages as you need, and you can create pages within pages uh, as, as necessary. The next thing we're going to talk about is moving a page. If I wanted to make the editing pages on the same level as the home page, I would click on editing pages page, and then I would choose the more option up here on the top. 
From here, I would choose Move Page and decide where I want to put this page. In this case, I want to put it on the same level as Home. So I select Creating a Website with an iPad, which is, which is sort of the top level for my website. And I click Move. When I do that, you'll notice the navigation on the left-hand side. It now places home and editing pages in the same level. That's how you move pages. Last thing we need to do uh, is to share our website. Now, you'll notice in the top right corner, the blue button tells you how you're sharing your website. The image will change according to the share permissions. When you click on that, it brings up the management site and here you can change who can access this page you can see right now mine says this is public on the web anyone on the internet can find and view my page well I can click the change button and decide that only people with the link can view this page once I've done that I now made my page viewable I can share this URL I can share the URLs with my teacher or with my friends or with my parents, with those I don't want to share this website with. That's the tutorial on creating a website using Google Sites. Thanks for watching.